Hi guys, this is Sai Kumar Kortiwada. In this video, we will learn about unit testing in Angular by using ngfer. To understand more about ngfer and the different ways of usage of ngfer, please watch my video which has been explained in the Angular tutorial. I'll provide the link in the description. Please watch before continuing this video. Let me quickly jump into Visual Studio Code. Here, I have created a project by using our Angular CLI called as Demo1 and there is a default component created by Angular itself that is app component. Inside the app.component.html, if you see, I have created some examples with sample arrays, complex arrays, and uh, all the different ways of using this particular ng for over the ng container, ng template, and dynamically changing the array, and using the track by. So now in this video, we will test each and every use case. Let me quickly go into spec file. So here inside the spec file, let me create two variables, that is fixture, colon, component fixture which is of type app component and I want to create one more variable called as component instance. Inside the component instance it is a type of app component and inside the before each every it execution I want to make a new copy of my fixture. So fixture is equal to testbed dot create component of app component and component instance is equal to fixture dot component instance. So I have created my component instance and the fixture let us start with the first use case. The first use case is a sample array, sample array testing. So it has a callback inside the callback. Let me use fixture dot detect changes. Once the changes are detected, let me use fixture dot when stable of and it is a it is a promise based and we got a callback inside the callback. Let me get the element whatever the element we are using a for loop element colon I'll get the debug elements of an array which is equal to fixture dot what is my debug elements array so we can use debug element dot now we will be using a different format called as query so what I want to query I want to query one CSS why because we are getting names names is an array and array of formats you cannot get it by id because whenever you are using an id it will give only the first element of that id let me use some array and inside this array let me give sample arr or array and let me copy this sample array save this and go to the spec file let me pass this particular selector to a predict so what we can use is there is a method called as by which is given by angular itself where it will take one method called as css so by is a class which is given by angular and the css is a method which will accept some selector what is my selector it's a sample array so it is dot why because it is a class and let me hit enter so if you see here we are getting only one what i need to do is i need to get all the queries which are matching with this sample array so how many it will be matching the number of elements which are present in this names what is names we give are defined we already gave three names. So what is my expectation? The three names should be existing. So let me check our expectation as expect element dot length should be equal to two equal of three because we have defined the names as three arrays here and this will be looped for three times and this div element will be having three elements. So let me save this and hit ng test. If you see here, it has been successfully qualified. Now, what is my second expectation? I want to expect this particular div with this item. So what I want to do, I want to get this particular elements and I want to test each and every element or the item is having this particular names or not. So for that sake, already we got the elements and I can loop it. So let me loop this particular elements, element dot for each of what is my each so I will get an object which is an element which is debug element and inside this debug element what I want to do I want to test each and every element value. So expect of element object dot children of zero I want to get the children of zero dot native element dot inner html. So I want to check the inner html that should be equal to what is my first inner HTML of this particular object that will be having an index value with some number component instance of index value that should be equal to my index value and here what is the problem here explicitly index has any 
type so so we are not giving that particular names let me give the names dot names of index so this should be equal to this particular index value but we have hard coded this children because the child value will be always zero because we are checking the inner div so let me go to spec file and save this if you see here it has been successfully passed that means each and every element of this particular inner html is equal to our name of that particular index this is how we can check the different types of our number of elements inside our for loop so let me create one more it that means one more use case what i can do i can go to the next complex array in this we will test our complex array so testing complex array so what is the complex array we have it has a callback and let me update the fixture so detect the changes inside the detect changes fixture dot when stable whenever it is stable we have a promise based and inside the promise based we got a response inside the response let me create one element here also we need to get the element which is like debug elements so debug elements array and this should be elements and equal to fixture dot what i want to do debug element dot query all i want to query all of dot complex array so for now we don't have this complex array and it is a css let me use by static class static class and let me use a css and inside the css let me pass dot complex array so i have passed the dot complex array and now it will give us the elements let me define this particular class in my html let me go here and define class is equal to this one so let me save this and go to the spec file let me expect something what is my expectation expect of elements dot length what is what the length should be it should be equal to the complex array so what is my complex array by default it has a array of objects which is having two objects that means the length should be equal to 2 2 equal of 2 so let me save this and check whether this is successful or not so in this case also it was successful what the next test case inside this is inside this we need to have an id and the item with the name so what i can do is i can go to the spec file and here i can loop this elements array for each of what is the for each i am getting obj comma index value so each and every obj or the object will be equal to debug element and the index is always a number so let me give the number here what i can do is i can have a callback inside the callback function we can expect our expectations that means each and every object is equivalent to this particular div so this div is having an inner html or one children and let's focus on this particular children by using children's property expect of obj dot debug element obj dot children of zero dot native element dot inside this native element we have something called as inner html that inner html two equal of what it should be equal to it should be equal to our item dot id what is our item dot id that means component instance dot complex array of index value dot id space so we can use something like plus and inside the quotes let me give a space so our expectation is hyphen so one there is a space and a hyphen and space plus component instance dot complex array of index value dot name so this should be equivalent to this values so that means id separated with hyphen and a name so let me save this and check the test case so it has been successfully qualified that means we are able to check our complex arrays also now let me go to the th third use case in this third use case we have different types of index value first last as well as even number and odd number so this one also we can use a class property let me define the class class is equal to complex array properties let me define my class name as complex array property so i want to test all the properties inside this let me go to the spec file and here what i want to do is i want to copy all the test case it should be same like this but there is a change in the 
class name. So paste here and go to the HTML file. Let me copy this complex array properties and paste here. We will be getting the complex array properties. And now let me go to the HTML, save this and spec file. Here what I want to do is I want to get all the elements and I need to check the elements array. So array will be always equal to 2. Why? Because these elements are returning from complex array. The complex array value is 2. It has two objects. Now we have got the two objects and in this the elements will be different. Why? Because we are using a different format. That means index. The index value first name. First value and the last is last. It will give the is last and is even. It should give is even. So we have to identify these values and we have to expect the values. For example, let me go here and create these particular values. And we need to validate this particular is first index value and all these use cases, right? So what I can do, I need to find the index first. So let me find the index. So what I can do is const values is equal to, I can use a template format and inside this template format, I can pass index space hyphen space and what is my index value? The index value is always equal to this particular index value. So we can use dollar and we can execute the dynamic values space hyphen and here if you see is first. So we need to find whether it is a first element or not. So let me copy the static value paste here and give hyphen and here what I want to do is I want to check whether it is a first element or not. So what I can do index equal to equal to zero or not. If it is zero, then I want to return true else. I want to return false. So this is one case and give hyphen and the last one is is last. Let me copy this is last and write is last hyphen. What is my is last string when it will be last when my elements dot length is minus one equal to equal to index value whenever this is equal to index value then it will be true that means it is the last element and whenever it is not it is a false and hyphen let me give one more property that is is even that means our index value should be divisible by two is even hyphen what i want to do index value divisible by two then that should be equal to zero if it is zero then it will return true otherwise it will return false in the same way is odd we have something called as is odd so let me copy this is odd and pass here inside the is odd what we can check is dollar index modulus 2 not equal to 0 so then it will be odd number so this is how we can use and save this go to the starting of this file and let me check this particular value instead of all these values let me pass this value and save this if you see here all the three test cases has been successfully passed so we are framing our test cases based on our conditions and that conditions are getting matched with our properties that means even number index value so this particular inner html is equal so that is how we can test our complex array with properties so till now we have tested all our properties by using complex arrays let me go to the html here we got ng container for ng container, we cannot test directly by using a ID or the class over the ng container because ng container is a virtual element and we cannot pass IDs and CSS classes. So let me pass the class here and let me give container class. So this is my container class and let me save this, go to the spec file, let me create our it statement. It of, what is my it? Check the container array it's a callback and inside the callback we have fixture dot detect changes and fixture dot when stable dot then it's a callback response or empty callback and inside the callback let me get the elements what are my elements elements are having debug elements array so we got debug element array is equal to fixture dot debug element dot query all I want to query all the values and what is my query I want to pass I have a by class CSS of what is my CSS class name the class name is equal to container class let me copy this and paste here this is dot so give the semicolon now we got the elements this time we didn't got the parent elements we got the direct elements so we can use in our HTML on this directly so for that sake what we can do is elements 
dot for each of I will get an object and give debug element it is a debug element comma index value which is equal to a number and it has a callback inside the callback let me expect this particular ID so that means expect of obj dot native element dot inner HTML that should be equal to two equal what is my equal value that should be equal to your component instance component instance dot names of index dot ID and also it should be added with so this is not the names this is complex array dot of index dot ID plus uh, we have a space and that space contains a hyphen so let me give space hyphen space and plus component instance dot complex array of index dot name so we have this and uh, also we have one more test case which we missed expect of elements dot length it should be equal to dot equal of two that is equal to our complex array let me save this and check this particular values and here we got four test cases successfully qualified to understand betterly and if you want to change in the future let me create a variable for this particular expectation so const value is equal to we can pass this and we can use in this way value so that you can create one variable and you can frame your output that framed output can be passed to a, a equal to method let me save this go to the HTML here we have container class now we got our container testing and now I want to test on the template so in the template also template is also a virtual element and I want to test inside this template here let me give class is equal to template check so I want to use a template check and this is my class name let me go to the spec file and create one it statements so it of template for loop check so this is having a callback inside the callback let me use fixture dot detect changes when stable fixture dot when stable I want to use dot then method inside the dot then method we have a callback inside the callback we will get the elements so how to get the elements const elements colon what is my elements debug elements which is an array equal to fixture dot debug element dot query all so I want to use query all method and inside this method I will be using a class called as by with CSS and this CSS should have a class name that means template check let me copy this and pass it as a dot operator because it is a class name let me use expect of elements what is my elements length it is always equal to our complex array length so that means that this is a complex array length let me copy this and let me use dot length and it should be equal to our complex array that means component instance dot complex array dot length so this is also one way to check instead of passing the value directly so now what is our expectation for the for loop elements dot for each of each and every object that is equivalent to your debug element and also we have something called as index which is of type number so here we have a callback function inside the callback function we have to check the values what is my value expected value for each and every iteration is it should have the name and the last whether it is a last or not so let me copy this particular name how to get the name of that we can get the name by using component instance values so how we can test it is uh, let me get component instance dot complex array of what is the index value index dot name so I can pass like this name and also it is having a space and there is there are some literals we are using so instead of using like this let me use template way so dollar open this is a dynamic value and inside the dynamic value what I want to do is I want to give a space and after that space I have a hyphen space is last so this is a static string space hyphen space we are using is last so when we, when it will be is last when my complex array is equal to my index value that means dollar of comp component instance dot complex array dot length minus one whenever this is equal to my index and 
let me go to the next case that is index value let me copy the index and paste here space hyphen and this is also a dynamic value let me pass the dynamic value as index so for each and every loop it has to frame this structure and let me expect expect of obj dot this is a direct element as we are using an ng template so no need to use any children we can use native element dot inner html inner html dot uh, dot to equal of my value so let me save this and here it will be equivalent to that particular inner html for every loop so if you see here we got the expected output and it was successfully passed now let me go to the next test case here the next test case is whenever we are using this particular button i am adding one element into the structure whenever i am adding the element into the array then it has to add that particular element into array and it should change some of the arrays in this particular elements let me copy this add element and check that add element what is this add element is having it is having an id 3 and name as skk so our complex array should have three values let me go to the use cases and create the test case it that means dynamically changing dynamic changing values and here it has a callback inside the callback fixture dot detect changes and inside the detect changes fixture dot when stable i have a promise based and it has a callback inside the callback let me get the elements so before getting the elements let me use this particular button element so what i want to get it id is equal to button add so there is a button called as add and i am getting this element by using an id let me save this and const element that means btn element button element and colon what i want to do is i want to use a html button element is equal to fixture dot debug element dot native element dot query selector now i am using only query selector so what is my selector here is hash and that button id what is my button id button add let me copy this and paste here you can get the button element now what i want to do is i want to click on this btn element dot click so i am clicking it and what that click will happen it will be calling this particular add element method what this add element method will do it will add the one element into our complex array so what we can do is once the click is happening we are updating some values in our ts so what i want to do again i want to detect the changes and when it is stable again fixture dot when stable whenever it is stable then only i want to check the remaining conditions then what is my callback function should have it it should have a expectation of component instance dot complex array dot length it should be equal to 3 why because this button click is updating our complex array with one element so that is the reason it has been changed from 2 to 3 and what is our expectation now we can expect something from here itself by using this template on so this template set should render three times so we can use the same conditions here whatever we are using inside this let me copy this and paste below this particular expectation here we got the debug elements and here we are expecting the same thing let me format this and this format save this now the six elements has been successfully passed so now this is our dynamic changes so whenever i click on this particular elements and we are getting all the elements in the complex array and that complex array is having elements so here we can check this complex array complex array dot length that should be equal to our three values so this element is looping for the three times so that is how you can check the dynamic value for now we have completed all the remaining parts and dynamic changes which we are using in our angular so that is how we can check our different types of test cases and we wrote six different types of test cases for our application till now this is how we can test our different ways of ng for using ng container using ng template using a normal do with a complex array and with a sample array so if you like my explanation and the video please like share subscribe to my channel for more updates thank you signing off